I don't know, bastard child or something. <laughs> but, I, I know they were trying to get Crispin for that, and and uh, I, don't think, I don't know if they what happened that made it so he couldn't come, and, and I know Billy Zane couldn't make it at the last minute. Well, that, but nonetheless, it was it was really great to be. Part that's good. That. That's cool. That you know and. and and see the thing about it, people people love the film. You know, I mean, it, it's almost like you know, like the Star Wars. You know, I mean, imagine how many Star Wars Star Wars fans there are out there. Well, it's no different than Back to the Future, or no different than Ghostbusters, or Batman, or whatever. People people love the films, and uh, you know, I'm a huge fan because it's always been one of my all time favorite trilogies. Just the, the the concept of going back in time, or 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 going you know forward in time. You know, even though obviously in reality we can't, but you never know. Maybe someday somebody will create something that could happen. Who knows? But who yes, knows? Yes, and, and we're only you know, six years away from uh, the years... 2015. In the future that, that uh, the film depicts, that part two depicts. And, and uh, a few other things have come to pass, yeah. if you think about it. Do you think, uh, there'll, do you think there'll ever be any flying cars at all, though? Or hover, well, cover? we've had flying cars since the 50s. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, yeah. like like in the movie, you know, like really flying really, really high in the sky and whatnot, and, you know. Yeah, well, if we can get the uh, the government off oil dependence, <laughs> uh, and, and start experimenting with some of the technology that's out there, and um, I'm sure it'll come to pass. The, all we have to do is dream about it, and things come true. Sure. It's funny how life works. So what are you, uh, what are you doing currently? <laughs> Uh, as much as I can. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, working on a number of films. Uh, a month ago, I was in Oregon shooting a, an indie film called American Disciples. I uh, just wrapped two days ago uh, a film called uh, uh, Shadow Angel. And then a, a week before that, another film called Four Cups of Joe. Um, Another film in post right now that I'm in uh, is called Burn Like Fire. So, so I try to keep busy in, in film work, and then I also uh, do stage work. I'm artistic director of an improv troupe right now that's part of uh, a, a fringe festival that's going on here in September. And uh, uh, I also teach. I, I teach uh, film writing, directing, and acting, as well as advanced acting and intermediate acting. And then I also teach improv and uh, theater games to teenagers and, and adults. Wow, so it seems like you're a very busy guy. That's why I, I'm, I'm glad I could get you what I could. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I could get you what I could, you know. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, it's kind of it's kind of nice. You've been asking me for a while, now, and, and I'm glad this is working out. <laughs> well, it's just it's a thrill to actually get a chance. Well, I mean, obviously we're not meeting each other like in real, well, kind of real life, but I mean, you know, doing this interactively th through the computer, through Skype, but I mean, it's still kind of amazing that I could get a hold of you or whatnot, you know. This is the future. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, uh, well, well, you know, in, in the scene in part two where Marty Jr. comes in and starts naming the different channels he wants to, uh -huh. at, you know, we got that now. Yeah. Yes, we do. Uh, that's, that's an example of one of the things we didn't have when we when we shot the film. Uh, as a guy who uh, w is big on acting and whatnot, is there anything that you're gonna be doing like like that somebody would recognize like like the next blockbuster or the next theater? One or another of the indie films that I'm in uh, will will take off. I know Corked, which is a uh, mockumentary all like Christopher Guest on, on the wine industry. Uh, in which I play an obsessive compulsive winemaker in, that's getting a DVD release uh, before the year's end. In fact, I just pre-ordered it on Netflix. Th that's kind of fun. Uh, oh. It may also get a limited theatrical release. Um, and uh, there, there's a, a handful of other projects out there that, knock on wood, will, will uh, <laughs> get picked up. Sure. And, and distributed. Um, you can also see my work online. Um, there's some some very fun films. Uh, a little horror short that I did called "We Missed You, Pete." Um, that's online, and another one called "Harold Bloom is About to Die." That's that's online. Um, you can find the links to those at my website. Okay.